Now me and Donald are going to settle a third city here, as well as uh, I think we're going to have some pretty bad barbarian problems. Donald, I know you have PTSD from uh, barbarians, damn barbarians in Civilization V, so we'll see how this goes. So we have a third settler coming. We're also going to get our first government in nine turns, and we probably have a religion coming within the next, like, ten turns. So lots and lots of things are going to be happening. Hopefully a lot of things to it to that I can teach you about, Donald. We also had our first building pillage, which kind of sucks because we got to repair that. But it's not as big of a deal. Um, we actually are losing out on a little bit of... Well, can we just buy the settler and then start building... Um, I don't think we can afford it for now. Yeah, we can't afford it yet. So these values are going to increase. So like every time I build a builder, it's going to get more expensive mm -hmm. and more expensive. Right. So, um, but... But yeah, I did want to just throw it. That doesn't have anything to do with what you just said, Donald. But I'm just saying that I want to throw that out there for you. Uh, we need to take out barbarians, too, at the same time. Because these encampments are everywhere. So, be, and they're obviously causing a lot of issues. What I might do is kind of send my scout back home. So we can have a little bit extra support. But, you know, for the sake of this video, I need to, I need, we need to kind of focus on other things. So maybe just defending is a better thing. I would suggest if you were playing this by yourself, Donald, I'd be like, Donald, you got to kill those encampments. But... I want to focus on, on teaching you new things, Donald. You probably are a master it's, at killing barbarians. That's what I'm here for. That's true. I've killed so many goddamn barbarians. Yeah, yeah. I hate them. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so we need to watch. We need to watch. Oh, he's just out of here. So if he wants to come back, then he's dead. Now we can do an upgrade. This is going to cost about 30 golds. And uh, as I said, the uh, archers are pretty pretty strong here in in Civ Six because this because they're not you know you don't have to ever get up an archer. Okay, so we never ended up farming a resource. We, we could probably boost, yeah, we could probably boost both of these. We won't ever really find a city on a coast, but we don't need to be able to get a galley or fishing boats at the moment. Well, oh, here we go. go horseback riding. Yeah, there we go. Always want to go for a boost. So, so buying a builder would be important just to get those two boosts from a farm and a mine, which is pretty easy to do. So maybe that's what we'll do. I'll either purchase one. We're getting a lot of gold because we're still doing that trade deal with Scythia. And, uh, okay, this guy is totally dead. And then this warrior will be our escort. And we're, I think we'll probably forward settle. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's a builder here. Okay, no, no, don't run away. So as I said, the settlers don't con tr convert over to, like, workers like they did in Civ Five. I might try to steal this guy away because he's not protected. And that will save us a lot of time and a lot of money. Um, there is a lake here, so that would be three housing. Maybe I won't settle Scythia because there's nothing over here yeah. really. It's just a desert and That's not good, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe we'll just approach the encampment, get the bananas, the wheats. There's no free luxuries, but again, because Philadelphia has access to all of these luxuries, it's kind of okay. So let's go this way. You didn't make them uh Yeah, because I'm just gonna use one of these guys uh, to smart. to do it instead, because they're already over there. You're so smart, Drew. No. When, when, <laughs> you'll get there, Donald. I'm trying to get you there. Okay, whoops. I'm not even sure why this is a button, why the move, uh, why this is a button, like who is ever using that, but okay. Maybe for, I don't, I don't know. So we gotta repair this, we gotta build an ancient mine so that we can uh, do a city attack itself. A trader probably would be okay, but first things first, we gotta fix this shrine. Definitely gotta fix the shrine. And he's gonna have to wait, because he can't move. So, uh, if you go back to the shrine, uh -huh. repair the shrine thing real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, this? Uh, oh, I guess it doesn't show it anymore, but it oh, right said, uh, yeah. So last time it said a three, if I'm not mistaken. And now it's saying one? No, yeah, now it's saying one, but we just started working on it. Yeah. It because you're just a badass? Or? Um, I'm not sure if production changed or what exactly, why the turns went, are you saying like why it went from three to one? Yeah. Um, that might have been because of changes made here by the game, although these tiles are locked, so... I don't know. To be honest, I'm yeah, it's because I'm a badass Donald. There you go. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Sometimes the, the game automatically changes some of the citizen management unless you lock them down, but ours are locked down. Okay, bam. So we've just stolen a builder, which is amazing, because now we don't have to waste our money on it, which means we can probably purchase a trader. I do have a scout here to protect the trader. So that's what I am going to do, because we need to build a lot of things. Um... Battering rams are now like siege weapons, support siege weapons. So they, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that maybe in the future, but 
but yeah, they've changed. They're not as as they were traditionally. We're gonna purchase the trader. I think we will go with the ancient walls, because that's gonna increase our defense. And then we'll go inside of here, and work on our first trader. Let's create the escort, and then we're gonna come up this way. And then we'll probably just settle someplace up along this river, which will be nice. And let me take this builder back home. If we can make it. Oh, crap. Because I don't there, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in the way, Drew. There is going to be. I know. It's like we just need to make it a few tiles towards the east. And it's like it's making it very difficult for us. So we're actually forward settling the Congo. I hope he's okay with this. I think he will. So here's the new trade uh, UI. There's actually a lot of different options. But going towards Scythia would be a terrible idea. Going Yeah, because all this stuff is probably ravaged by barbarians. God dang barbarians. So the only safe route would probably be Philadelphia. Um, now, yeah, one food, one production. when I said this, yeah, when I send this food from districts in Philadelphia, we're, this was always confusing. I feel like it's still somewhat confusing to me because it doesn't make much sense. We're sending it to Philadelphia, but the yields, the, the one food and one production is going back to Washington, to this city itself. So I always thought that like, oh, we're sending Philadelphia the food and the production. It's like, no, since it's coming out of Washington, it's, it's going to Washington. Yeah, Washington receives plus food and plus production. That seems really confusing to me. Because mm -hmm. in Civ V, you used to send it to... It would be like Philadelphia is getting this stuff. But anyways, kind of keep that in mind. There we go. We sent our first trade out, so we boosted something. A wonder has been completed. Which one? Uh, Hanging Gardens. Another thing to kind of look over is like some of the unique abilities of other AIs. The Congo can't build a, uh, a religion. So that's good. Mm. That's like part of his his thing. He can't build a religion, but he gets the same founding beliefs as uh, the religion that is majority. There we go. We have our first government. Perfect. And uh, have we boost? There we go. We can go after this one. Okay. So now we get to choose our first government. Donald, which one would you like to go for? Like I said, I know that the policies look nice, but also keep in mind these bonuses down below. Um, I guess let's go classical republic. Nice, okay. And because we, we get the great people points and money. That we, is a very good point. We, we like money, right? Yes, and we actually need the great people points because um, I, I hope that that goes to our great profit. And again, these values look different because uh, we're America and they get bigger legacy bonuses. So the only problem with choosing that, though, Donald, oh, we, got no, is we, we have no, no military. military. Yeah. So uh, it, but we, don't, a, we, we have don't a wild need card a, policy, we, though. So and we can put be, anything. Can anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So it's not it as works out. it's not as bad. Yeah. So it's it's okay. Um, so we only have two diplomatic policies right now, plus two influence per turn towards earning city state envoys. I think that's what we'll do because we still haven't really messed with envoys yet. And um, economically, we could get two plus gold back from that trade route, fifty percent towards settlers, thirty percent towards production. I think productions in all cities. We're about to have, we're about to have three cities, so putting just production in all the cities is. It's kind of a nice change. And then, um, and maybe I'll reduce the gold maintenance so that we're not paying as much. Because right now, we've got a pretty big military, and we're paying maintenance for all those units. So reducing that a little bit will give us more money back, and we'll be able to purchase more things. And uh, we can make it. So, I mean, stealing builders, kind of keeping an eye open for, like, barbarian settlers and barbarian builders is a really easy way to shave off a few turns, which is, I think, pretty important, especially if playing on higher difficulties. Okay, there's a lot of horsemen over here, and they're not leaving us alone. Gotta start, it's crazy. Gotta start uh, cleaning out these camps. We do. Uh, I might come here. We're going to be settling like in the middle of a freaking rainforest, but there are a few advantages to that. I think we'll settle right there, and then let's just take these guys down. We should have a pretty nice time actually taking down these guys. So we settled our third city. Let's see how much time. Nice. We should be getting in like two turns, our religion. And, again, Monument always first because that's one easy way to get early culture so we can rush down the civic tree faster. Uh-oh. Oh, this uh -oh. ain't good. Uh -oh. This ain't good, uh -oh. Donalds. Uh -oh. Okay, there we go. So we can kind of watch him. Ooh, this ain't good. Now, he, he, he has to actually go on top of the, the trader and then pillage him. He can't just... He has to do all of that, so... He might not be able to do it next turn. But this is why you got to really be careful when you use a trader. Because even that, I thought that route was safe. And it's like, we're surrounded by barbarians right now. Like, this is crazy. 
we did get a promotion, which is nice. But um, yeah, we're gonna go back to Washington, build a farm and a mine, boost two more techs. Good, good. He's running away. This guy did probably quite a bit of damage because archers don't do very well. Like in this in this scenario, but we gotta take this guy down. Now instead of getting what was it? What was it back in? I think it was f 50 golds. You only get 45 in Civ 6. Mm. Yeah. But we got a boost. We did get a boost, yeah. Which the AIs received different bonuses, which is really weird to me. But anyways, let's see if we can kill this guy. Because if I can kill him, then I can just go kill the Slinger and then our trader is safe. Yeah. Yeah, we should be okay. Actually, we want to go here. Can you go there instead? Nope. What is this? Oh, what is this? Friendship expired. Oh, okay, our friendship with Pericles has expired. That's that's okay. It's not a, it, friendships are not alliances, so it's not a super worry. And we should probably consider maybe going back down south because like stuff is getting crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting crazy, yo. So we need to kind of worry about that. Um, I need irrigation, so I'm gonna farm a resource right now. And again, we won't be able to work this tile, but just farming it is... I mean, we could change citizens. Because I'm not worried about production as much, so let's just work this for the extra food. Because, man, Washington is not growing for crap. And that's what happens when you start off in the plains. You kind of, you know, grassland starts are a little bit better than plain starts, the lighter green. Okay, so we're going to kill him, and uh, this guy should be safe. Although Philadelphia is in a huge mess right now of its own. What might be a good idea is purchasing... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it just for the sake of things. I'm going to purchase a warrior. Because this is just nuts. <laughs> this is just crazy. Like, the well, barbarians are pretty bad. There's a camp, right? That's a, that's a camp yeah. right there, right? Yeah, we've got to go kill that encampment. Now we need a mine. Oh my oh goodness. My God. So this is what happens when you have a bigger map. On a, on a continents map or a, or a Pangea map. Like, this stuff is just stuff that happens. So let's just go inside of Washington and chill. We're, pro we're gonna get things repaired. Yeah, we're gonna get things uh, pillaged probably. But yeah, in, um, uh, in one turn, we get the walls, and then we can shoot them with oh, rocks. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, um, that's. I was a little bit like, I don't know if I should be building these walls, but now I'm starting to think like, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, finally we get to talk about envoys. So um, we, it's so weird. I don't know. You you generate envoys per turn. If we go up to like this this thing, one envoy at a hundred influence points. We're getting five per turn at the moment. Uh, point is, we get envoys pop up every second, or like every every few turns, and we can invest them. We're pretty much investing them in city states. So like once we invest in like this city state, we can't take it back. Once we confirm it, we can't take it back, and they're gonna get little tier bonuses. So by giving one envoy to this city state, we get plus two culture in the capital. If we get that number to three, then we get plus two culture in every theater district, and then six is additional culture in every theater district. So, um, so yeah, different tiers of bonuses, and then the su suzerain. I'm not even sure why they named it the suzerain, but that's pretty much an alliance. So, if we are like, if we have th we have three envoys or more than any other civilization, because everyone is participating participating in this envoy system, then we're, we become their alliance. We become their their ally. So they go to war with us and and things like that. And we also get different bonuses if we look at like all of these things, their unique bonus and their suzerain stuff. But um, the strategy behind the envoys is it's so easy to get that tier one bonus because you only have to you know invest one point. So I suggest just investing in everybody, and I'm gonna invest in this faith city state so that we get more faith because that's what we're trying to do is, as America all, all anyways. About that faith. Yeah, but my my suggestion is always give everybody one envoy because it's just so easy to get those bonuses like automatically. Okay, I'm gonna go battle cry again, and I think we should have a religion. Jeez. Damn. So you, they definitely need some sort of some sort of walls here. I mean, so the barbarians still don't take cities. They're still not gonna take your city, but they're still gonna be really, really annoying. Luckily, Philadelphia doesn't have anything to pillage here. Uh, they, I'm just trying to protect this. Oh, that ain't good. Just trying to protect my damn trader. So all the traders have to do is they just go to Philadelphia and then they come back and then we can choose a different route. Oh, he's dead. He is dead. Oh no. And the doggy's gonna run away now. Not the dog. Oh, oh, now he's, oh, maybe he's dead too. I don't know. Oh damn, the dog died too. So they did pillage, but we did finish the walls, which means we can go for our first like 
you know, bam shot right there. And um, now that we've finally reached four population, we can build other encampments. So the encampment district is good. This is going to be a district that we can build that... So now if we build this encampment here, whenever we build units, it'll be popped out, out of this district. So encampments are like like uh, barracks mm -hmm. and armories and things like that. This this encampment district 2 is also going to have the same rock throwing as the city. So oh, you can have so two rock throwing mm. things. So it's actually really, really useful. Um, we're going to keep them there. Again, as soon as we take care of these barbarians, we'll be able to just repair it with the builder. So I'm not worried about this. I'm just worried about protecting my, my districts. Over here is a different thing. Like, the trader's probably going to get plundered. I was not expecting all of these these barbarians to pop up. So our trader's probably done. His life is over. No. <laughs> yeah, he's he's done. There's so much death in this yeah, game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and we started off in the corner, and that's just kind of what happens, because there's no other sieve to help us out in this corner, so that kind of that kind of sucks. Uh, I can bring over some support. We'll see if we can maybe support him. And where is my... Oh, you know what? I think someone jumped past us to get a great profit. I think they did. But um, let's go here. We get another envoy. So like I said, just giving one envoy to everybody gives us you know bonuses all, you know, automatically. So it's kind of a good idea to do that. <laughs> this is insane right here. Uh, I, I don't think I can take down this guy before... I think, I think we're good on the trader, right? Well, he has to go back now. I think he... I, uh, we'll see. We will see. <laughs> and we have Washington protected, which is nice. Let's see if we can maybe distract him from pillaging the trader with this guy. Yeah, I think we are safe for now. We got lucky. Um, okay, so Greece wants another friendship. I will give him that. And he's going to do his arm thing again. So he's, he's obviously very pumped. I didn't make a, a comment about this, but yeah, so our great prophet, somebody rushed it before we got to it. So God, that means it. that the value went up. Yeah, the threshold is is now further. So who got it? I guess we can't, you know, we, we, we don't know who got it, right? Yeah, I don't think we do. There is a religious map mode, but uh, or I'm sorry, religious menu, but we don't have access to it now. Oh, yeah, we do. Our religions. There's already been two discovered, Greece and then an unmet player from probably the other continent. God dang it. Yeah, so. Assholes. Yeah. Taking okay. all our shit. <laughs> so, probably nature walls. We probably definitely need that. Um, we need to improve this to build a mine so that we can boost one of those technologies. And then, I guess, protect this guy from the scout. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten any experience boost, but okay. So, the trader will automatically come back onto the road back to his own original city. So, that's why I'm attacking here because he's gonna be bam right there so I can kind of protect him so the Congo is asking me to go to a joint war with uh, with Pericles Greece I just ex I just asked for a friendship with him I accepted a friendship so this would probably be pretty big like pretty big like the world would be like what the hell are you doing you just you were just friends with them so I can't accept this this is pretty aggressive of the Congo I'm surprised that he did this oh he's not happy Ooh, he's Ooh. Mad. yeah he's not gonna be too happy about that and I think we finally have a handle on all of this. So that's good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that guy here. And uh, I guess we'll go drama and poetry. We're not gonna build a wonder, because Drew does not build wonders, and we don't research construction. That's true. <gasps> Drew does not build wonders. That is like a common thing. Everyone's like, oh Drew never building wonders. God damn it, Drew. I love building wonders. They're I know. So fun. They are fun, and they're even more fun in Civ Six because I think they, they give even bigger bonuses, they're they're unique. Like, and then you actually get to see the wonders. Like, it's so awesome to actually see, like, a big-ass wonder built on, like, the, the hills. So, that's part of the reason why they're pretty nice. Okay, so you're going to stay there. The trader is... Oh, well, yeah, he should be safe. He, yeah, he's, he's running away. He's, he's too injured. Now, before I use this final builder, I need, a, I need to repair some of these tiles... Yeah, I need to repair some of these tiles. And then we got irrigation coming, which is nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a religion in this game. Well, at least in this video here. Just because people have... We should have built that, uh... The Stonehenge. Stonehenge. I think... God yeah, dang I don't it, know true. if we... If, is, it, if, is it still there? Let me see if it's still there. No. Go to production. No, it's, it's gone. I don't know if we would have built it. It would have been close. What about the Oracle? Yeah, we could go after that, but that's not going to be a religious. That we'll oh, have that's to not look. A religious thing. Yeah, I think it's a. It does something to our policies. 
But either way, even though this has been a pretty huge, like, crazy here, so you can repair it, and you'll notice that his builder actions don't go down. So he's just going to repair it. So it's not as bad. But yeah, pillaging districts, very bad. Don't want people to pillage your your districts. Don't trust you, Scythia, so I'm not going to give you open borders, because that's not a good idea. And uh, now this trader is going to make it back home, and that means we've we finished the round. We could probably trade with Charleston. But uh, I'm going to stop right here, and uh, we got up three cities. We've made it to turn pretty much 80, and uh, hopefully this guy is, can get you off into your game, Donald's, and have a pretty good like time, I guess. You know, jumping off and not I can't being wait killed to go by out barbarians. and kill barbarians. Yeah, that's pretty much. I know that there's a lot of barbarians in this scenario, but there there traditionally usually isn't that many barbarians. It's not usually that that bad. So you just got pretty much a crash course on everything early game Civilization VI. Uh, what do you what what would you suggest to new players? playing Civilization VI for the first time. What do you think, what did you find to be the most important mechanic that you didn't know about? Um, I, I still think that helped the happiness thing. Yeah. That, 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 that is a big change. Especially in housing, yeah. Yeah, the, and the districts. Oh yeah, another, the districts is huge, yeah. That, that is, I think that, that's the biggest thing is, is the districts, because that's really different having stuff built in the city and then you gotta build a district to build other stuff. Yes. In that district. Yes. And you really need to specialize your cities now, like, you're not going to be able to build every district in, in one city. So you need to think like, oh, this city is going to be my production and culture district city. And this city is going to be my military and science city. So it is really important. And the other thing I actually said in the beginning of the series was that uh, the, the, the way they've overhauled culture is a pretty big change. And that's, we didn't get to touch upon that too much here because uh, we didn't get any of the late game governments. But when you have late game governments, it's, it's pretty crazy. Culture gets very intense in the late game. But... Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this series. Donald, did you enjoy this series? Yeah, I can't, wait. I can't wait to play more Civ. There we go. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.